You ready? Sit up. Look good. I do. Are you, you do. You're sitting very, very yeah, proper. What are you doing? I did a Quentin thing. What's that? You're gonna learn this about me. I overbuild everything, and I never have anything fail. Are you ready? Why am I working up there? Mm -hmm. Are you telling me I could weld out on the table like that? That's my plan, but I have problems. It will fail. Why? How are your wheels going to be in the right spot? Quarter inch from the top is what this should be. Problem is, this don't work. I told you about that. I've been noticing something on a lot of videos. I seem to talk with my mouth full a lot. I'm going to work on that. But honestly, I think they stick that camera in my face every time I talk and I eat while I work. And I, I apologize for that. I was raised better than this and, I'll, and I'll, try to, I'll try to do better. I do eat a lot of jerky. It's like my all day long snack thing and I drink like, my coffee with it and it's like heaven. <sighs> but I'll try to not speak. But when they do stupid stuff and I got jerky in my mouth and today, this day, was a day where you needed a lot of talking. You were like on one of your I'm Cassie, hear me roar days. I literally told you, didn't I? That you were gonna have to sort out so that it would line up with that. So now what? I'm not sure you're right either. What? You want me to just weld it together and show you? No. Nope. There's only one way that I would do this. I'm going to put my wheels on there. I'm going to make sure that that post right there is level. And then I will put this on there and determine where the casters need to sit. I don't know how you're doing all that laying right there. Do you? It was math. It was math. The math didn't work. And the way you said math wasn't with a whole lot of confidence, number one. But it was supposed to shut me up. It's like... I use my brain and I'm like, but it isn't working. And, and you, being Cassie, we're still sticking to your plan. You're but still I saying. I pointed out it worked fine, but then it didn't work fine. You planned it out, it worked fine in your head. That's yes. what you're supposed to say. When that, in my head. When, it when I screw fine. up, I say I had this all worked out in my head, but then I usually say something cool like, but there's a lot in my head. You know, and other stuff got in the way, but there's not a lot of stuff in your head, so what's your excuse? So are you telling me to trust you? I don't know. Are you ready for me to make you look bad? Because that's what's about to happen here. No. But I'm more worried about that. How are you going to fix it? That, don't you agree that's too big for me to weld? <laughs> I can't weld that. So you got to go remake those pieces with, a, with the right angle, but I don't understand why this happened. For those of you watching the video at this point, you have to understand we're a team, okay? She's a fabricator. I'm the engineer, the designer, and the welder, the assembler. So she's right in the middle of both of those, and she's the fabricator. But the fabricator knows that the pieces have to fit together. Because if you give the welder a crack like that, and, and you try to fill that, it really is hard to do and it makes me look like I'm really a bad welder and I don't like that. So, you don't see it a lot of the times when I'm talking to my kids, but there have been an enormous amount of conversations that have taken place before this. It's not like this is the first time that I've told Cassie that that crack is too big to weld. 
and I literally gave her a whole day. She's just smirking over here, but I like give her a whole day to get this stuff set up. And I come in the next day and I'm saying, okay, let's go. And the first thing we lay down and look at, I look at a half inch crack. So I'm just kind of setting the stage here a little bit. So I know there's some out there that think that I'm a little harsh or this or that. Just understand that it's for their own good. You know that it is. And also, I want to say one other thing. You may have noticed like from the very, very beginning videos to today, Cassie's not the same person she used to be. Cassie doesn't take as much crap anymore. If I am wrong, she will snap back at me and put me in my place. Some might think that I have a problem with that. I'm actually quite proud of it because I've raised confident, independent girls that are capable of doing much more than they even believe they're capable of doing. I believe they're capable of it. And it's why I'm so hard on them. I love to get along with my kids. Our family gets along together very well. Everybody knows each other. They, there's, there's a mutual respect and love there that probably doesn't always come off. But we did these videos as a real snapshot into our family. You're either gonna love us or you're gonna hate us. Um, but there's no phony anything and that's kind of the decision that we've made why you guys do this all the time and you make me seem mean and I'm not mean you, you put me through hell I figured I'd just use the wheels that we had here the ones I ordered were at about a thousand pounds each okay is what they'll handle now you need to get me a level and then something to put underneath that pipe Basically, we're putting casters on the front of this um, that'll come on and off. And then there's a pipe that comes in here that'll join these two together. So I got it all set up to where that'll work. So when we're putting the casters on this and I, and I put these casters on it, right now if you take the casters out and set it there, it sits level. I've got that thing spaced out to where it does that. Now when the wheels are on it, right now you can see it's kind of tilted this way. So we want when the casters are on the front, we want this post to be perfectly level and her math wasn't gonna get her there, that's all, that's all I was saying. Was your math gonna get you there? No. I didn't think it was. Did I tell you to do exactly what we're doing right now? Mm -hmm. Did you do what I told you to do? Eventually. When I showed up to weld things together, could I weld things together because you did what I told you to do, or could I not weld things together because you didn't do what I told you to do? Could not because I didn't do it. There you go. Okay, can you get something that can hold that up about right there? Right there is really good. Is that solid? Mm -hmm. Be honest to me and the world. Is the way you were about to have me weld those wheels on there, was that going to work? I think so. Don't you? you still think so? I do. You, you did all that math? Yeah. Were you being honest? At that point... At that point I was. I had not checked and realized that I'd screwed up. So you still felt your math was going to hold up? In your head. You had done all this in your head. I had. Okay. You want me just to go with it? Prove a point? I can, or you can do this and make sure. But I still can't use those. Right? Okay. You do know that I didn't think it would. Okay. But I still can't I figured that them. out. You f right? Okay. This is how I teach my children. So break time. I'm still dealing with an air compressor back here that ain't working. I'm going to go. I'll be right back. All right. So what he's doing right here is she's fixing that weld crack. She had to take that much metal off so that it would actually touch my pipe and I could weld it. I see my gross fingernail. Cassie smashed her finger in the camera guys weren't here to see it. You said, I'm ready. You remember when you said that? That was like five minutes ago. But knowing me and knowing you, do you think I was just like over exaggerating? See, and I don't think I probably was. Because you do understand the whole morning that's going on here, I was just out finding other stuff to do because I couldn't weld. You get that, right? So yeah, I was probably a little impatient. It's problem. She just realized her math wasn't going to work. And then technically it could work. You just may not be happy about it. Explain that. 
it's a problem. I mean, it could work, but he ain't gonna be happy about it. Would it have worked properly? I don't even remember what it was. Okay, but... That was a long time ago. But what do you think you were saying to yourself right there? Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. <laughs> you just came to the conclusion that you didn't have enough height to put the wheels under it, that, that, that it was gonna have to sit like halfway up that bracket. And you were like, he could probably cobble that on there. This is what was going through your brain. This was supposed to be about there. But that does not clear two and a half inches, which it should. Not two and a half, one and a half. There's confusing stuff. <laughs> so I may be switching this to just flat bar. That would be there for, let's say, much better. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, right now in her mind, she's like, Dad! This is why you're the engineer. I don't know how happy you will be. I'm not. I just make what you say. I don't know how happy you will be about that, though. What? Would you have a problem with just using a flat bar instead of this? What? Explain to me your problem. Let me, let me ask you a question, Cassie. Was your math going to work? No. Hmm, shocker. So what's your problem? It's too high up. Um. <clears throat> All right, I got the fix already. Do you want me to give it to you or are you gonna show me how smart you are and tell me how you would fix it? Nope, you can go right on ahead. What? You can go ahead and just say what it is. Now, I'm not being mean here when I'm doing this. I'm trying to make you think on your own, right? And, and expand, because I believe you can do it. And as long as you can simply say, nope, you go ahead and do it, Dad, you're never exercising that muscle in your brain. You know what I'm saying? I think you could have come up with it. The fix I came up with was pretty quick, you gotta admit, and it was a good fix. But, but how will you ever grow up? Daddy's always fixing shit for you. Huh? This and Loosen these. And rotate that. This is why I I, I don't want to harp. I don't. I don't. I really don't. I don't like the harp. Harping's no fun for anybody. But okay, you're gonna put that like that. Tighten that back up. But I told you to set this up. Will you acknowledge I told you that, or are you gonna act like you never heard that? acknowledge that you did say that. All right, at this point in the video, Cassie has completely come into submission. She's acknowledged that she's completely made a mess of this with her math and that it was not working and, and dad had to figure it all out and fix it for her. That's basically what's happened at this point. Now, whether or not she really felt it was my fault or her fault. I don't know, she'd have to answer that. Because you probably were thinking I should have given you better drawings or something. And what I was saying is I didn't have drawings. I wanted you to set it up and make it work with those casters, just like we did. That's what I was saying. Okay, we clear on that? All right. Cut a piece of this, a long, lay it on the top of this and then make me spacers that you put on top, underneath that. Boom. Done. Give me some round rods to stick underneath it so I can weld both sides. You understand what I'm saying? Is that a fix? Yeah. Is it simpler than anything else you were gonna try? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you acknowledge to the camera that I'm a genius? He's a genius. Dang right.
Hey. Bad things happening over here. Here's what irritated me on this, okay? I'm working. All these people are standing around watching me work, right? And the love of my life, Elsa, she's my work wife, we know this. She starts on fire. And nobody notices, except for the guy doing the welding. I have to turn around and I see smoke coming up from behind me and Elsa's on fire. And everybody's just standing there looking at me. You get this, right? Is that pretty much how it went? Where were you when Elsa started on fire? I don't know. Were you in the room? Probably. Do you remember it? I had vaguely. See, it should be much more important to you than that. That's Elsa. <laughs> this is Elsa. I mean, we could put like a head on her or something, but that's Elsa. And you're just letting her burn. Whoa. Um. Why does your welder have to be the one to see this? All right, this is one of those moments because I'm about to tell you what to do here. And I'm going to politely, this is like level two of me saying, I told you to do that. Remember, I have more than one occasion asked you to clean Elsa behind that filter, correct? Spray that stuff on it and rinse it off. Nico, when was this video shot? November 14th. I was disappointed on November 14th that it hadn't been done yet. Today is January like... You already done it. Don't even say that. I've already I'm, done I'm, it. Let's see, I'm fixing to ask. Has it been done? It's done. Has the filter been ordered? No. <laughs> so it's taken us two months to order a filter. So you almost shut me up because I'm about to tell you to order that filter. On video, two months ago. And, and I'd like to hear what you had to say about that. Because were you going to order it tomorrow? No. Was it ever going to get ordered? Eventually. <laughs> I still remember it every once in a while. <laughs> Elsa away from the welder. Order that filter. And I asked you to clean that. I think I asked you to do that. Two. Get some water on that so it's not smoking us up. It obviously wants to keep burning. Well, that one obviously wasn't held straight. But it'll work. What was I looking at? What did I see? Mm -hmm. She did get all of her holes drilled and tapped. But her design that she had all laid out with her math was a freaking disaster, and I haven't heard her openly acknowledge that. I think maybe you should, for your own good. You should acknowledge the fact that you should have listened to Dad because he thinks 18 steps further ahead than you do. And he knows when you're gonna have trouble. You don't wanna talk about it. It's all better. If there's a weak point in this, it's gonna be on that front cap, I just don't think that there's that much weight on them. The weight should be mainly on the on the back wheel. We'll find out. But if anything ever fails on it, that's where I predict it'll fail. Nothing ever fails. Whoa. I didn't overbuild that though. What'd you just say to me? Make things hard. I make stuff hard. She just picked a fight. Yeah. Why? Why? Why would I was sitting down there minding my own business, welding, right? And then you picked a fight with me. Please explain. I don't even remember what was said. But you, you said I make things hard. Do you feel I make things hard? Occasionally. Explain. You make things hard. You want me to explain? Yeah, sure. When I show up and I have a half inch gap to weld, that's hard. Okay, now you explain. She can't explain. Therefore, her point is null and void. Thank you very much.
Let me see what your problem is exactly. I don't see a problem. What is your problem? Problem is that one. What? I think you're being a bit of a candy ass. Just being honest. Does your pea brain understand why that's more better? I'm talking to me or Nico. I'm pretty sure you just insulted Nico there. Is this, do you want to explain? Were you insulting Nico or not insulting Nico I when you said know. that? When you Probably insulting Nico. Yes. <laughs> if you think that was insulting Nico, then I want you to comment on what, what, what happens next because I show you how it's done. Everyone knows his brain isn't that big. <laughs> I mean, I'm just clear about it. Problem. I'll deal with it. That's not good. It's not good at all. Um, so, yeah. Okay, <laughs> tell us what was going through your mind there, because you stood there for like a minute. So what, what, what's the problem? What, what were you thinking? So I'm gonna have to tell dad. He's gonna yell at me because he's told me not to break the tap and explain to me how not to break the tap. And so what was standing there accomplishing? You were hoping maybe you could figure out a way to... <laughs> Nothing? Just you're... putting off the inevitable. <laughs> what are you doing? I did a Quentin thing. What's that? I broke the tap. What? I broke the cap. What did Nico say? Nothing much. I don't have any more. I know. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Are you planning on changing those to those? What? I said, are you planning on changing them to those? What do you mean changing them? The ones that I've been drilling and tapping. That'd be a good way to punish you. Um. Do we have taps that go that big? Yeah. How many you got left to do? Well, I had two, but have a tap stuck in there so it might not work. So you're pretty much saying, hey dad. Mm-hmm. And I had no idea I was on video right now. Um, Neither did you. He's just creeping everywhere. <laughs> I didn't blow up. I stayed calm. It's all good. So could this be proof that I don't blow up at you when stuff happens that just happens. Mm -hmm. I didn't blame you for that. You didn't do that on purpose. It does happen. And I, and I think you guys know that and you don't acknowledge it enough. When I snap at you, it's because you're being a what? What are you being? Yeah, you know exactly what you're being. Well, let's go look at it. To decide what to do here. You get greedy, you're gonna bust a tap. And here she goes, telling me how she didn't get greedy. She didn't back out. Wasn't getting super greedy. You were I was just about to go the other way, and then mm -hmm. it went bop. I, see, I was just a little bit greedy. Enough. Just, you, just you, got a you got greedy enough. I'm just telling you, you get greedy, you bust taps. Give me a hammer.
We could almost get started if you just hurry up. Now I can't do what I was gonna do. Why not? You want me to do this? Do you wanna do it? No. So then I'll do it. You're boring me. I'm scared. Of what? Of it getting caught. Not saying I've never broke a tap, but when I break them, I at least acknowledge that I'm the dumbass that broke it. Or I just gotta I didn't look. Didn't say I didn't do it. I just said it's a very Quentin thing of me to do. What's with all the insults? So now we're throwing. I mean, Quentin's not even in the building. It, does Quentin? He had broken a lot of our drill bits recently. Okay. Yeah. So. I I I still. I didn't say it wasn't my fault. I didn't say it was, but it was very Quentin-like. That's pretty much where we're at? Okay. When I said you weren't getting greedy, you argued the point. I said I wasn't getting that greedy. Just you a get little the other bit. one ready. I gotta drill it. You were greedy. Once again, this is a yes or no equation, okay? In my mind, and I'm not gonna let it go because I'm not gonna be manipulated by my teenage daughter. Are you still teen? Couple months. Okay. So, she's trying to say, I didn't say it wasn't all my fault. I just said I wasn't getting real greedy. She still won't acknowledge the fact that she's denying that it was her fault or at least not fully accepting that it was her fault. This entire conversation is wiped away if you do what? Just say, I broke the tap, I knew better, I got greedy, I'll be smarter the next time, Dad. This entire section of video would have disappeared. Again, making the point, this whole episode can be shifted to Shane's psychology lesson with Cassie. This is why you guys get treated the way you're treated. You're, you're, you create, my, you, you set off my manipulation radar, and I will go at it until I debate you into the ground because I know the fact, and we were trying to get to the fact, and keeping in mind she's the only child that I couldn't break at a young age. So she beat me, 100% defeated me, and I just gave up. I, I, let, I stopped making her, you know, sit until I won. It, it, it was horrible. All my other kids, boom, it was a breeze, and after I did it, they were easy to raise. This one, it was screw you at two and she's got a stubborn streak. And you're seeing it in her very, don't get me wrong, she's the sweetest, most lovely person on the planet. But she's stubborn. Mandy held something for me for like two seconds the other day. And she's like, ow, oh, my fingers. You are so much tougher than she is. I'm just gonna go right out and say that. She was like, I remember this and I don't like it. She did, she really, really was, I, I, I told Nico it never would have went that way if you'd have done it. In short, what I would say about the rotisserie build is it was memorable will always remember it and some of it is phenomenal it really went well um, and there's other parts of it that I screwed up on the design I've already got several ideas on my head as to how I'm gonna fix it we used it it works fine um, the problems that exist are in those that wheel up there at the top of it um, and using pins to hold it in place it just it's weak and I don't say that very often about things that I build, but that particular thing 
it just it didn't hold up at all to any weight. So um, I've got some ideas that, that are gonna make it better. Other than that, I really wish we could have done it the original way we wanted to, which is to have steel that telescoped out of there and we had a jack that raised it and lowered it. I just didn't have the tubing and I couldn't find the tubing um, to be able to do that. I'm sure I could if I, if I search harder, but we bailed on it and went with this, which it'll work for a large percentage of our projects. I mean, that was a pretty big project. We used it on with the canopies and I think it made that job a lot smoother. Don't you agree? I mean, where else would we have yeah. set that? It had been down on the floor. Mm -hmm. Things wouldn't have been square. It would, have, it would have been a totally different project without it. So the frame itself is killer strong. It looks cool. It even has the W in it. Um, the, uh, and all that's really the, the way the casters work. Even the thing that we did in this episode here um, with the caster on the front, that, that caster slides out onto the pipe so we can literally have that support further out. All of that part of the design I think is really cool. It works really well. The only issue that I have with it is, is the brake um, that we use to hold that, that disc in, in, in place. What's your thoughts? I agree. Yeah, I'm so glad I brought you to this interview so that I could at least call you out on your crap. It's pretty heavy though. I don't know how much we'll use that. I mean, that's way up there. But I wanted it to be high enough that we could put something eight feet on there and be able to spin it, was what I was thinking when I built it. Um, and if, if I just wish we could, like I say, could telescope down. We'll build another one one day with cooler stuff. Um, but, we'll, but we'll keep that one. That's something that, I, that I'm pretty sure we'll travel with us to Montana. It breaks down small enough and it's really heavy duty. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That was blunt? Yep.